Uh, yeah, we've been making royal wedding cake fudge for a couple of weeks. Um, it's based on the flavour of the royal wedding cake that Harry and Meghan will have on their big day. Um, it's a lemon and elderflower fudge made with fresh lemon zest and elderflower essence. Uh, and it's topped with a sprinkling of gold. So how did you uh, come up with flavour? Did you sort of try a lot of trial and error? Um, we did trial and error to perfect it, yeah, just to get the balance of flavour correct. Um, but obviously uh, when we found out what cake they were having, we thought, well, you know, not everybody's going to be invited to the wedding, um, but everybody should get a little taste of what they're having. So we thought, well, we'll make something for everybody that they can have. And also it's nice to join in kind of with the celebration as it's happening here in our town. Look over in the kitchen now, because I've got to make the 100 kilos of fudge. Yeah, so it's not going to be me, it's going to be him. I'm just going to get this up. Right. Uh, we just made the royal wedding cake fudge, but we're going to make sort of caramel fudge next. Oh, cool. but, you know. Um, yeah, cause, I mean, if you guys can tell me a bit about the board. Sorry, I'm Jack, by the way, I'm from the Press Association. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, very much so. Um, we're always having about five, six calls a day. People are phoning us up, asking the best way to get into town, to uh, what sort of menu we have on, um, to what sort of beers we're selling on the day. So, you know, it's, it's becoming, yeah, very popular. And uh, in terms of and yourself I understand you've got a lot of interest in you know the tables have been booked out for quite a long time. Yeah especially on the Friday night before the wedding and the and the Sunday after and um, it's been very very busy. We haven't taken any bookings on the actual Saturday itself it's just first come first served so um, yeah as I say you know we should be able to get as many people in as possible. All hands on deck? Oh, very much so. Yeah, we've borrowed a, we've borrowed a couple of staff members from another pub um, within the company and um, also I've got all my staff working on the day um, so yeah Certainly, yeah, we've just got them on uh, on Thursday, actually. We've got two. We've done an English IPA and also we've done an American-style IPA where we've used both British and American hops, blended them together to create the two uh, the two beers. The um, English uh, IPA is called Hoppy Ever After and the, Eng uh, the American-style IPA is um, Best of Both Worlds. How are they? Are they good? Very good, yeah. Lovely 5%. Um, the English one's uh, room temperature, where the American-style, which they prefer, is very, very cold. <laughs> They've just asked the staff that live there to get out for the weekend, yeah. and I'm like, is it, is it? booked already. We're not reserving any tables on the day. It just, it wouldn't be fair yeah. to, like, especially tourists. Get everybody down. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not British. I'm South African, so for me, it's quite exciting. Yeah, like, yeah. And most people who work here, like, we've got a Canadian. <laughs>